Oki, Kansei, hello. Today we will be acknowledging the Truth and Reconciliation Day that is tomorrow. We're going to start the morning with a land acknowledgement. Today we acknowledge our Treaty 7 friends, the Blackfoot who meet on the Elbows Bend. Along came the Sutina from the Beaver Clans and the Southern Nakoto who live in the mountain lands. Last but not least, the Métis from Region 3. We're all treaty people here in Kansas. The government of Canada has proclaimed Thursday, September 30th as the National Day for Truth and Reconciliation. This federal national day directly responds to the Truth and Reconciliation Commission's call to action number 80. The intention of the day is to recognize and honor residential school survivors and their families and communities and those who did not survive residential schools. It will also ensure that public awareness of the tragic, painful history and legacy of the residential schools remains a key component of the reconciliation process. Orange Shirt Day is also on September 30th every year. It began in 2013 when residential school survivor Phyllis Webster shared how her orange shirt was taken away from her on the first day of residential school. This story is an opportunity for students and staff to reflect on history and to discuss stories of survival and strength and to share ways we can work together towards truth and reconciliation. It is also a day to acknowledge that every child matters and that each student is welcome, safe, respected, and cared for in their school every day. We will now have a moment of silence for the children who did not survive res residential schools, as well for the survivors of residential schools and their families. We will now play a song to acknowledge and honor the lives lost and residential school survivors. schools and indigenous history can be a difficult topic. Anyone who would like to smudge or receive support in room 205 will be open at lunchtime. 